Good evening. How's everybody doing? Happy Thursday and welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show episode 42. Tonight we're doing cheesesteaks. Thanks for stopping by guys. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a good start to their night. Um, so basically what's going on is uh, last night during my stream, my homeboy Dark uh, basically said that he wanted to see my take on a cheesesteak. So, you know, I thought about it and I was like, alright, let's go ahead and make some cheesesteaks tonight. Um, let's do it my way, the way that I've known how to make them, the way I've seen them coming up in my life from the restaurant. Um, and then I'm going to be doing the pastor filet that we're running at Side Street um, as a special right now as well for you guys. So you guys can kind of see how we put it together. Um, so, yeah, thanks again for stopping by, guys. Uh, so we got, we're going to be doing our cheesesteaks. We're going to do three different cheesesteaks, right? Beef, chicken, um, and then we're doing our pastor. And then we're also going to be making a little homemade potato salad for you guys as well, which can be awesome. So we do need to get the potato salad started probably first and foremost. So let's go ahead and get our uh, potatoes chopped up. Get them in some water. So I'm gonna leave the skin on the red potatoes because I, uh, I kind of like having it um, in the potato salad. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna give our Potatoes, a nice little chop, right? right. So I kind of leave them a little bit longer. And we're going to go nice little, nice little dice, right? As we get the potatoes chopped, we're going to get them thrown into the water. We don't need too many. Just cooking for Kaylee and I tonight. What's up, Jack? How you doing, Cuzzo? How was Vegas? Looks like you had a good time. Alright, so we got one chopped. Let's go ahead and get... Okay. Right. So what's going on, Jack? How's your day going, Cuzzo? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good night. Welcome, welcome, everybody. What's up, Maxi? Thanks for stopping by, Maxie. Appreciate it. All right, so we got some potatoes in there. We're going to go ahead and do one more potato. Should be enough for us. Nice small, small dice, right? Time to get the knife sharpened. All right. Get them nice and small for the potato salad. So the goal here is basically we want to cook the potatoes down um, till they're till they're still pretty firm, right? We don't want them to soften up too too much. So right when they start to get firm. Um, it's time to turn them off, kind of let them carry over, kind of let them carry over a little bit. Ugh, potato down. All right, so we got our potatoes thrown into the pot. We're going to go ahead and just get these on a flame. Get them started. Get them going. I'll wash the hands off real quick. down up down my area all right so now that we got the potatoes going we go ahead and start prep on our veggies we're going to be using for tonight right so we're going to be using an assortment of different vegetables um, onion right 
We're gonna be using some onion, some bell pepper, some poblano chili, um, green onion, cilantro, red jalapeno. What else we got? Some celery we need for the, uh, we're gonna need some celery for our potato salad. All right, we got a bunch of different items we gotta chop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my little chopping board, my little prep board, right? So same thing, right? We're gonna prep them and I'll just throw them on this little extra chopping board. Um, so let's go ahead and break down some items. Oh, we got some pineapple as well. We gotta break now. Looking around like missing something. And we need some hard boiled eggs that's going into our potato salad as well. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a good night. All right, all right. So let's go ahead and get cracking. So first, let's go ahead and get our bell pepper taken care of. So we're using a green bell pepper here, right? Uh, so we're just gonna take the top off. I'm gonna gut out the root. Go ahead and pull that out over the trash. Get rid of them seeds. And we're going to go ahead and break down our bell pepper. Okay. So, sometimes it helps to kind of break them up in, in pieces, right? And that way it allows you to kind of be able to flatten it out. Now we can go ahead and get the guts taken out, right? We don't need any of the innards. It's gonna call for a nice, nice consistently even dice when we dice it, kind of creating all of it at the same level. Yep, just us. No Gmo yet. I don't know where he is. MIA. I don't heard nothing from him. All right, so let's get our pepper chopped up. Okay. Alright, so bell pepper, right? We got all our little our pieces laid out here. Get rid of these innards. We're gonna go ahead and dice these up. So, nice small dice on our bell pepper. What's up, Sammy D? What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Where's he at, though? No idea, brother. No idea. All right, so getting some of our bell pepper out the way. So we're making three normal-sized Philly cheesesteaks for you guys tonight. Um, one's gonna be chicken. One's gonna be beef. One's gonna be pork pastor. Um. So I'm just getting the items, veggies prep for these, uh, for all these, right? So we're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna get our bell pepper chopped up. We're gonna move on to our onion, get some green onion, because we're making a, a potato salad as well. So those of you guys that haven't seen, we got our, our potatoes on the heat, ready to go, ready to rock, right? We're gonna heat it up. Um, we're gonna keep checking them, make sure they don't overcook, because your potatoes get too soft, your potato salad kind of just turns to mush. You still want the bite of the, of the potato in there. Which, <laughs> uh, the pastor is the one you're avoiding, but I'll make sure, like, try to put pineapple only on half of it so you can still try it. Kaylee doesn't like pineapple, so. She had pastor at the, the, the uh, Andreas's birthday party we went to last week in one of the tacos and <laughs> immediately, like, freaked out. It was so funny. All right, so we got some bell pepper. I'm trying to think of how much we're going to need for each Philly. That could be enough for three fillies right there. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest for an omelet. Um, I'm gonna be using a uh, poblano, right? One of my favorite chilies to use when I'm cooking. Um, why not add that just delicious flavor, a little bit of heat, right, to the to the fillies? Um, seriously though, it's like one of my favorite 
Right bit chili, so you could pretty much use it with anything. I mean, it's so delicious, so versatile. Uh, we'll probably only use about half of this. It's a big one, right? This one got a nice middle vein. So, let's get that peeled out. Yeah, I love pineapple. I'm a pineapple lover. Haley, not so much. So, let's talk about cheesesteaks. Cheesesteaks, right, from Philly. Um, a lot of people, when they think about a cheesesteak, it's one of two things, right? You've had a, you've had a cheesesteak where you've had a cheese sauce, or you've had a cheesesteak where you've had just melted cheese, right? Um, I'm not so much a big fan of cheese sauces on, on cheesesteaks. Not my thing. It's a, it's a texture thing, right? It's not my thing. Um, I'm into the melty, ooey gooey, some spicy cheese on there. So tonight we got some pepper jack. And then um, we also have some cotilla that we're going to be using on the past door. Just like we do at Side Street, right? The way I, I wanted it up there, right? We're doing the same deal. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing a cheese sauce because that's not—it's not my thing. Cheese steaks are, are good either way. I'm not going to put down anyone that does like a, a nice cheese sauce because I like cheese sauces and different items, but not on a on a Philly. I like a nice gooey um, cheese that's kind of sticking and holding the sandwich together per se, like. You know what I mean? That's kind of keeping the mold of the sandwich because of how much freaking cheese is on the thing. So that's kind of my deal with that. So we got bell pepper. We got our poblano diced up, right? Just gonna have a nice, nice assortment of veggies here. Right. Let's get some onion crack a lacking. So what's going on guys? Sammy, how's your day, man? How's work? Mama, what'd you do today? Grumpy, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by, man. We're just getting started. I gotta keep an eye on those potatoes though. I don't want them overcooking. Right when it starts to start water starts to come together and start boiling, I'm gonna really check them by touch because we, we diced them up pretty small right so they're not going to take long and we're not trying to fully cook them like completely through so we just want them to be to the point where we can digest and eat them without any trouble still have a nice bite to them right how's your night going grumpy thank you so much for stopping by what's good with you tell me about your day Hope everything's going well. All right. All right. Now, onion, one of the best parts of the cheesesteak is the onion, right? Um, now, I am a red onion lover, right? But sweet yellow onion in a Philly, adding that little bit of sweetness to, the, to, to kind of complement the saltiness of the cheese. Now, that's, that's some bomb stuff, right? I'm not going to use that. I don't like that big root in it. Hang out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, they stayed the night? Yeah, my mom goes on a hike almost every single day. And eats like a bird. It makes no sense. And I think I want to do more than after a hike than just... Pig out. 
literally like reverse the entire hike in one mule. All right, so we got our onion chopped up, guys. Should be enough for the three fillies, right? Let's get our pineapple prep. You know, let's go ahead and take a little, take a little tender, right? Let them all mix. See what we're working with. Yeah, they're still like solid rock. So let's keep it the prep. There we go. God, it's like the most difficult container on earth to open. So we want a nice little. So what we're gonna do is we'll take the top end off here, right where the little seat is, right? Get some nice squares. Um, we'll half it so it's not so thick. And how do I want them? All right, we'll go this way. All right. So we're just making one pastor filly, right? So we don't need too much pineapple. So, cutting little sheets for the pineapple. Keep consistent, right? If you cut one way, then keep cutting that way. Don't don't change it up all of a sudden. All right. Let's make sure it's nice and sweet. Looking good. All right, that should be enough. Kaylee, you want a piece of pineapple? No. <laughs> sure, you yell from the room. No. <laughs> All right. Pineapple's prep. Let's get this under the board. Okay. I'll show you our little prep board in a sec, guys. Coming along. Coming along just great. She has to separate a couple things. All right. So left, we got some green onion and our jalapeno. I know my mom makes the bomb lasagna. That's for damn sure. I'll have it soon. All right, green onion are for the uh, the potato salad, right? And I want these real thin. All right, don't need too too much. That should be plenty. We're just making enough potato salad for, you know, not too many people. If there's more people we'd be going all out but we don't need too much of our ingredients tonight so i'm gonna have a lot of stuff to play with and cook up this weekend right i don't mind having leftover ingredients at all it all pretty much gets used for the most part for the most part my paper towel out thanks again for stopping by guys those of you guys that are kind of stopping by a little bit later uh we're doing three different cheesesteaks tonight guys we're doing a pastor pork Philly cheesesteak along with a beef cheesesteak and, chi and a chicken cheesesteak. So stick around, guys. we got a homemade potato salad coming your way. Getting our potatoes cooked up. We got our little smorgasbord of prep going right here, right? So I'll leave it here for a sec. I think it looks pretty cool on camera, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, red jalapeno to one of the fillies. So, I need to go ahead and get these seeds that you see right here out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those seeds real quick, guys, so we can give it a dice, okay? I'm gonna use it two way. I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use one of a dice, and then the other one I'm gonna use as garnish, uh, sliced. So we only need probably half of this for that one Philly, or I mean, yeah, just half of the jalapeno. Okay. So we're just gonna get a small little dice on this red jalapeno. This is, this wasn't even labeled a Fresno, 
We got the store. It was labeled a baby red jalapeno. And normally Fresnos get a little bit bigger. So I don't know. Maybe this is the same exact thing. Maybe it's not. I mean, they're both pretty damn hot. So, but I am kind of curious. I could have swore they were the same thing though. But they throw these different signs at me. Kind of confuses me. Okay. And then for our garnish, we're going to do some... Some thin slice. Some thin slice shots right there, okay. So we got our thin slice there. We got our dice there. Okay. Go ahead. Will you guys take a look at that? I'm going to wash the knife off. Get that heat out of there. Off my hand to knife. Go ahead and get the, the hot red jalapeno off the cutting board. Alright, potatoes are starting to come to a boil. Now it's time to really, really keep a close eye. Oop, looks like we're close. Looks like we're close. Very close. Throw a little bit of jalapeno on my. I just lick. I just ate that potato off the same hand. I got so so much spice. All right, that's pretty much d there. Okay. Oh, we need a little celery. I almost forgot one thing. Well, we gotta have variety for you guys, right? And we'll we'll split halves. <laughs> you know. We like, to, we like to eat. All right, let's get a little celery. I'm gonna turn these potatoes off in just a second, guys. I invited Dylan and Jess, but they went out to, they already had dinner plans, so they ended up not coming. Um, so yeah, it's just us tonight, all right? So, we're going to need our celery, how do I want it in my, how do I want it in my potato salad? I think I'm going to kind of leave it a little bit longer, I kind of like having the chunks in there. Mm. I'll have it to there. Okay, that'll be good. Perfect amount of celery. You make a little more room here. I like to keep it organized, you know what I'm saying? Organization is key. I did put like seven green items next to each other, which is like the stupidest shit ever. But at least they're kind of different sizes. So it'd be aight. So there's our little prep board. We're going to go ahead and drain these taters because I think they're there. Yeah, we good. Drain those out, let them sit, let them chill. Hey, Dart, what's going on, brother? Happy you're here, doggy. You wanted them cheesesteaks, they're coming at you, boy. You're getting what you asked for, huh? All right, let me just get a couple of these veggies back in the fridge so they stay nice and crisp for these these this weekend. All right, guys, so look, 
potatoes are out. We're gonna get them in a bowl. We're gonna get them in the fridge. We're gonna blast them. We're gonna get them nice and cold. Um, we're gonna try to get this put together as fast as possible because um, we wanna let those flavors really come together while the fillies are cooking up, right? Um, then we're gonna get started on our fillies. We gotta, we gotta go ahead and um, cook the chicken down, which we can start going ahead and doing that. So we're gonna season our chicken up. We're gonna get it on the flat top. It's nice and thin. Uh, we're gonna cook it off. And we're gonna chop it up when it's about uh, about fully cooked, right? And then um, we'll we'll get the, we'll get all that tossed up. I already got beef. That's I already got beef. That's nice little chunks that we're gonna season up. We'll let it sit in a little bit of a uh, Worcestershire, a little bit of pepper, right? Um, our pastor is already flavored and seasoned. Um, we will do our own pastor because um, I do and I've always wanted to learn how to make the marinade for pastor. So we'll do that together as well for another episode. Alright. So let's go ahead and get our potatoes. potatoes in a bowl and blast them in the fridge real quick guys. Or better yet, we'll go freezer. Let's just let's just blast them. Let's let's cool them down as fast as possible, okay? Let's get some wax paper out. Let's get our chicken seasoned up so we can get this on the on the flat top real quick, right? So we're going to go ahead and move our little board. We'll move it over here. You guys still have a little look at it. So we're just gonna need one, one of these chicken breasts for our filly tonight. I'm trying to write, find the right size one. I want to go too big. I want to go too small here. That's massive. All right, this is the. This will be the winner. The chosen one of breasts. The chosen breast. All right. Wash the hands real quick, guys. Give me a sec. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna grab some of our oil. Get some extra virgin on there. Get our salt and pep going. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper, right? Nothing too crazy on the chicken. We're just doing a basic, basic seasoning up, right? We got some garlic powder on there. We're gonna let the flavors of all the chilies and the cheese and everything kind of together really, really speak volume, all right, as far as flavor. So seasoning the chicken breast, we're just going very basic. Salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, a little dry thyme, right? Just a little bit, nothing crazy here. Hope you're having a good day, Dark. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate it. Coming by the game streams, cook streams. Re retweeting out my tweets and stuff like that, dude. I, I appreciate it, man. You're you're a great guy. Appreciate all the support, man. All right, so let's hit the other side. Salt, pep. Little garlic powder. And some dry thyme. All right, so down yonder, we got us our flat top. Looks like we need to refill our olive oil container. Throw me as much of that out as we can. Go ahead and get this cooked up. We'll get it all chopped up. So 
So while our chicken's going, we're going to go ahead Get our pork marinated up a little bit, chill. We got a bunch of cubed pork. We're just gonna take enough for our Philly. One sandwich. Just a little more. Alright, that should be good for one sandy right there. Alright. Got about one sandwich's worth of so I hit it with salt. I hit it with a little green onion, a little pep, garlic powder, and wash the hand off real quick, y'all. Chicken's going. Check our heat control here. All right, we're not getting too much color. Go ahead and kind of turn it up a little bit. We're gonna let that go, just kind of go and do its thing, right? So let's grab our Worcestershire. Hey, Pops. What's going on, Dad? Welcome, welcome. All right. We got some green onion some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, and some Worcestershire for our meat, our beef, for our uh, Philly. So we're just gonna let that kind of chill out, do its thing, marinate up a little bit. Our pork's all ready to rock. We got our goodie board right here with all our prepped items, right? Uh, we need two more prepped items. We need our cilantro, um, and we need our hard boiled egg for our potato salad. So, in the meantime, while we got some time to spare, we're waiting for our potato salad to cool down so we can combine our ingredients and we're waiting for our chicken to cook up. The fillies are really easy to put together, right? It's a matter of having your prep ready, having all your items ready to go because you're kind of just throwing shit together. Bam, 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 done, right? Looks so good already. So, what's going on, Jack? How was Vegas, girl? I seen them pictures. Looks like you were having a good old time, cuzzo. Not my cousin. Wash the knife. Hey mom, do you want to tell chat about how the last time you were over and then you dropped my knife right down on its tip? R.I.P. Oh, makes me want to cry. She's blaming me like, you shouldn't have had it sitting there. It's like, well, it's on my kitchen island and I use it every day where it always sits, it never gets knocked off. So you tell me whose fault it is. <laughs> you know what I'm it's a nice rough chop. I bet you're happy to be home. I bet it was a lot. Crazy little party animal. Like your Aunt Sue. Alright. Checking on our bacon. Starting to get a little. Oh! That was two chicken breasts. Alright, look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook one for Daisy Girl for dinner. <laughs> I thought I tried pulling that off. That is freaking funny, man. That's too funny. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna we're going to pull that off and leave it for days. We'll, we'll, we'll fill that with our dinner. I thought that whole freaking time, too. Sure enough. That's funny.
All right. Cilantro. Just kind of clean up the cutting board. Cilantro and parsley, right? They keep a they keep a little mess. They like to stick to your cutting board. So there's always a little remnant. So we're just gonna go ahead and wipe that off, right? Keep our our prep area clean, sanitary. Not all messy, mixed together. All right, so we got a little bit of our, our fresh cilantro down. So lastly, what we're gonna add on, uh, on our prep board, you need Daisy Cam. Daisy, you can come in whenever you're ready, babe. Go ahead and let her out. We got a sharp, let's get a sharp, sharp knife. the hands so you guys finish up your daisy cam. Say hi to everybody, my girl. Such a good girl. Such a good baby. Come on, sweetie. Time to go. Good girl. All right, so let me grab my little Sanuku knife. So I'm gonna do some hard-boiled egg. I want it to be chopped up pretty nicely. All right, so when you're chopping a hard-boiled egg, it's always better to have a really, really sharp knife to our potato salad. Okay. Sharper the knife, the better here because it wants to rip and break apart, and you can avoid that by using a knife that's pretty damn sharp. All right. So we're just getting a nice little dice in our egg. Okay. Love me some hard boiled eggs, man. One of the best things ever. A good hard boiled egg, perfectly cooked, a little salt pep on it. Don't get much better than that. Boil's probably just about done. just about there. Yeah, we're, we're looking good. We're just going to take these off. We're, we're, I'll, put, I'll leave it on for one more sec. And then I'm going to take it off, let it chill, let it rest, so we can chop it up, kind of finish it up with our veggies, right? We're going to check and see where our or a potato salad that. You know what I'm saying? Or an egg slicer. Egg slicers work just as well. But I'm a chef. I'll use my knife. Alright, let's check on our potatoes. Uh, we'll wait for this later. Alright, let's see. Cooling down a lot. Still got a little steam. We're going to give them a little toss here. They're cooked perfectly though. 
a little toss. All right, we can cool down a little bit more. Shit, we might just have to throw it together, have it ready to go on the fly. By the time the, the, the cheese steaks are about ready, because it's taking a minute to cool down. Should have done that earlier. All right. Chicken's good, right? So we got our chicken chilling, right? Chicken chilling. Yes, I did. I did. I love the love the freaking cheese slicer you got me. Used the hell out of it. I was cracking up because I was like, you like said you were gonna get me one, and then I like was walking out the next day, and I got home from. I was walking out to the gym, and I look, and I have like a package. I'm like, what the hell did I order? I bring it inside, open it, and then I see what it is, and I was like, oh, that's right. It came in like one day. Um, so I'm just cleaning off the flat top. Just got a wet paper towel. It gets hot doing this, so be careful. I don't recommend doing that, but it's an easy way to clean it if you have a nice little tolerance for heat on your hands. But it does get hot as hell. Alright, flat top's all clean. I'm going to turn it on low. We're going to let that chill for a sec. So we got, we're going to check back in guys. We got poblano, we got green bell pepper, we got celery, we got green onion, we got pineapple, we got sweet yellow onion, we got our chopped Fresno chili and our sliced Fresno chili, our fresh cilantro, our hard boiled egg, and our chicken, right? We got all our items out here for prep. Let's go ahead and get our cheeses out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything just about ready to prep, because we gotta kill a little bit of time, guys, for this uh, these potatoes to cool down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all of our items out that we're ready to rock with, right? Our cheeses, we're gonna get our bread sliced and ready. We're gonna have everything ready to go. We're gonna milk the timer as hard as we can right now. Um, on this, letting these potatoes cool off because they're just about there. Uh, they needed to be tossed up a little bit and they need the heat source to be flipped. So they should be cooling down a lot quicker now that I did that. Um, and then once those cool down, we'll go ahead and put them together. Poblano chili, the green one. I use it in a lot of the stuff. Um, one of my favorite chilies. Pasilla poblano, um, pretty similar. Pasillas tend to be a little bit hotter, so if you do see pasilla, just know that it's probably going to be hotter than your typical poblano chili. Poblanos are what they make chili relleno out of, babe. Alright, we got chicken and our beef wrapped up. Let's get our cheeses out. Alright. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna throw some bacon in the potato salad too. Should we go ahead and cook down some bacon real quick while we're waiting? Yeah, let's go ahead and get some bacon going. I wanted some bacon in it. Bacon and egg potato salad, right? Like a little breakfast. A breakfast for lunch. We got a little pan on low. Got a little bit of our bacon. You're looking awfully handsome tonight. Well, thank you very much, Sammy. Appreciate that, bae. So let's go ahead and get a strip of bacon. Let's do two, right? A little extra bacon for the for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? Blue might be your color. You know, after looking at the after this being my favorite chef coat now, I'm thinking that might be true. Even though my favorite color is red, it's kind of hard to like switch it up and just be like, yeah, I need to start wearing more blue, but red's my thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wash the hand real quick, guys, get that bacon off. All right, let's get our bacon put away. Thanks again for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it, all you newcomers. We got three different Philly cheesesteaks coming your way with a house-made potato salad. We got a pork pastor um, cheesesteak. We got a beef cheesesteak. We got a chicken Philly cheesesteak as well. So stick around, guys. We got some good things coming your way. Um, let's go ahead and get our beacon chopped up. 
We'll use our little knife. So we're gonna make some little, some little lardon, cook down. So we're doing three Philly cheesesteaks. Um, a little twist on how I'm doing the first two, but I basically learned how to make a Philly cheesesteak from working at uh, my cousin's sh Chef Burger restaurant and my mom's restaurant. Um, and seeing how my aunt's restaurant, who's very similar to my mom's, actually do it a little bit different than her, or different than we do it. And then also showing you guys my Pastor Philly that we've been running at Side Street. We ran it last year, and we've been running it again uh, the last couple weeks, or a week or so. And boy, oh boy, have we been selling the shit out of them. I swear to God, today I probably, single-handedly, not counting um, Crystal, who was working with me, I single-handedly um, sold at least 10 to 15, maybe 20 of these bad boys today at lunch. So, And not that long of a time period at all, either. So... Starting out good, happy, happy. I don't like to put bacon in dry right away. I like to add a little oil. Kind of helps bring out the fat. So we're gonna cook down some bacon, guys. We're gonna keep checking in on our freaking, um, on our potatoes, right? See how cold we can get them. I'm going to go ahead and drain some of the juice from the chicken that's resting. Alright, so the chicken's pretty rested up. We're going to let it rest like about a couple more minutes. We're going we're gonna to dice that up. So, the two different ways that I've seen chicken Philly cheesesteaks, right? My mom's restaurant, we do a dice, right? Cousins, they did a dice. My aunt's restaurant, they do sliced grilled chicken. It's pretty neat. I personally like the dice. I think it. I think it's a little easier to eat. No cold spots. Oh, we know. I know you like your bacon more on the on the crispy, full cooked side, Kaylee. Don't worry. It will be completely cooked through. I know how you like your bacon, girl. All right. So we got these delicious. So what we got? We got everything pretty much ready. Oh, we got our cheeses before we do the bread. Um. So we're doing cheddar cheese on the chicken. Okay. Cheddar cheese on the chicken. We're doing pepper jack on the beef and pepper jack on the pork, but the pork is getting cotilla as well. A little bit of Mexican cheese on top. Okay, rolls, we got some fresh baked French rolls. Baked today. Grumpy, happy to see you here. Appreciate it, seriously. You're awesome. Alright, we're starting to render out our bacon here. So we're going to choose some good sized rolls. This is like the biggest one. We got another big one right here. Okay, let's do three of the same, three of the closest to the same size. My god, these are huge. Alright, we're going to do these three. <laughs> Two of them are a little small. One of them's like massive. And then we got the three amigos right here. Straight kicking it. Perfect size lineup. Grumpy needs to be higher with my height, man. What? No whiz, no provolone. Hey, how you doing, X? How do I say your name? I'm going to call you X, all right? Welcome, X. Um, provolone, one of my favorite cheeses. I'm a sandwich provolone guy, right? I'm putting provolone on my sandwich. I like, I like different cheeses for different things. I'm a provolone all day on my sandwich, right? Um, and no whiz cheese. No, I'm not a I'm not a cheese sauce type of whiz kind of guy. I don't like the texture. It doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. All right, so we got our rolls set and ready, right? And check our potatoes. Cool down. Cool down. We're making a lot of progress here. A lot of progress. Okay, so look, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to stop cooling these potatoes 
when this bacon is done, ready to mix it, okay? So we're gonna, just gonna, we're gonna saw a little bit longer, we're gonna get a little bit more time, because it's pretty much cooled all the way, but it's like a little bit under in the middle. Damn it, Vans, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, everybody go ahead and welcome our um, X and Damn it, Vans. Welcome, 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 guys. Hope you're having a good time in the stream. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday. If you're having a good time, go ahead and click that follow button. Follow your boy on social media. We got high upload resolution shots of all the dishes after the stream. So I got all the previous stream uh, pictures on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Twitter's got a lot of them, but mainly Instagram and Facebook where you're going to find all of them. And if you're interested on past episodes, guys, hit the YouTube, subscribe to your boy. We got every episode um, from 41 and back on the YouTube, guys. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're enjoying your time, support the kid, right? So our bacon's looking good. We've burned it out a lot of fat. So now we're letting it kind of cook in itself, right? Look at all that fat we've got rendered out. So now we're just kind of letting the bacon do its thing, right? Let it go, let it go. Let's go ahead and chop our chicken up, guys. So let's move our prep board here. Prep board there. Let's get our chicken sliced up. I'm gonna grab a couple paper towels. Uh, just kind of get the rest of the juice off the chicken before we slice, right? And then this is Daisy's chicken, so we're just gonna let it chill. Daisy's chicken will be ready for her dinner a little later. Yes, YouTube, Grumpy. I didn't know you didn't know that. Uh, yeah, Grumpy, hit the YouTube. We got all past episodes on there, full episodes. All right, so let's get our chicken diced up for our sandwich. sticking to my hands. All right, so we got our chicken chopped up. We're gonna place our diced chicken on here. It's a little bit, okay, so the proper temperature for kick chicken to be fully cooked is 165 degrees. This chicken right here, we're looking at, it's gotta be like 160. Oh, here we go. All right, bacon's looking good, nice and crisp. We're gonna let it sit in its fat for a second. So this is like 160. This is right under, and that's perfect because we're gonna reheat, revamp, recook a tad bit with our veggies to develop flavor, combine the flavors, melt it with the cheese over here. So our chicken's actually cooked perfectly right now. Absolutely perfect. I forgot my, uh, I don't have any towels out here right now, so that's why I keep kind of using paper towels. I don't even know if I washed them, to be honest, so. Keep kind of messing around with paper towels tonight. All right, guys, so we're just about to get started on the Phillies. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Thanks for being patient. Uh, if anyone needs me to go over any of the items that I have prepped out already that you guys didn't get a chance to see on our cutting prep board right now, go ahead and let me know, and we can always run back through them, okay? We'll go ahead and switch back sides for you guys so you can take one last look at these items right before we get started. So we got all of our, our prep goods here, ready to rock, okay? Thanks for stopping by again, I appreciate it. Um, X, and I'm gonna call you Vans. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. I appreciate it, appreciate it very, very much, all right? All right, guys, so we're gonna take a peek at our bacon. I'm gonna show you guys how we got our bacon cooked up. So we got... Mm -mm -mm. We got two paper towels, right? All right. Okay. We got our bacon right here. Nice and crisped up. Not overcooked, but not undercooked. We got all the fat parts fried up, taken care of, right? Looking good, looking good. Taste a couple pieces. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves some bacon, right? 
Daisy gets her little chicken. And we'll bring Daisy back out shortly. So um, our newcomers can go ahead and see the girl, right? X and, and Vans. Hi from Seattle. Uncle Stinky3921, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I love Seattle. Was out there last year. Had an amazing time. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you enjoy the stream. Thanks so much for stopping by. All right, guys, so when I say bacon's done, we're getting cracking on our, on our potato salad. We're going to let these combine. We're going to get it thrown together. We're throwing it in the fridge, and it's Philly cheesesteak time. All right, guys? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to scoot all this over, okay? We're going to get our potato salad thrown together real quick, and then we're rocking. Okay. All right, it's rock and roll. So I do have some, I have, oh, I was forgetting one thing that I throw in that I didn't prep. And I knew I was gonna, so I hit it behind the milk. All right, so, it may seem kind of weird to you guys, but I like to throw sliced grapes into my potato salad. Super weird, right? But it is so refreshing and so delicious. To have sliced grapes in them. I'm telling you right now. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these up real quick, guys. I have some fresh baked French rolls from the bakery at the store. Coming through, dropping 15 bits. Thank you very much, Uncle Stinky. I appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna thinly. Slice our grapes. Have a nice sharp knife, right? Hope you get through it. So how's the weather out in Seattle? You guys got any good weather right now? Because when I was there, it was beautiful. All right, so we got our chopped grapes. Throw that next to bacon, right? Still with our prep, boy. Okay. I put cotilla in my tacos and never tried using it on a sandwich. Awesome. Yes, X. Cotilla is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cheeses for tacos, right? Nothing better than some fresh cotilla. On the sandwich, since it's Mexican style Philly, trust me, it makes the sandwich. A lot of the customers tell me that at work. That that cotilla really makes the sandwich. I'm, I'm telling you, it really, really does. Thank you very much, Uncle Stiki, for those bits. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming through. All right, guys. We got the can opener. We're gonna get our sliced olives. Popped off. You guys don't like olives? You're not a fan of olives? No big deal. Don't throw them in. I personally like them. So put them in. Drain some of the liquid out. So it doesn't make a mess. So I'm opening it. Remember, these kind of things, potato salads, coleslaws, things like that, it's all personal preference. Do what you love, right? People are either going to love it or hate it, but at the end of the day, if you like it, that's all that matters, right? Tag, you are all it chatters. Weather's almost perfect. Just a little cool. Very nice. When I was there, man, the weather was incredible. Everyone's like, don't get used to this. It's not normally like this, blah, blah, blah. We're like, all right, well, we had like a week's worth of amazing weather. So we're going to start with some mayo. Some yellow mustard, right? We're gonna start kind of binding these potatoes together. Kind of smushing them, kind of mixing them, right? Leave some chunk, leave some, some squished. Grab our lid in a little bit. We just need to see how much more mayonnaise dash mustard we need to put in before we start adding our ingredients so that's how we're starting all right now i'm a mustard lover so when it comes to my potato salad i'm all about pretty much equal portions of mayonnaise and mustard right that's important for a good potato salad 
It poured the whole time I was there. Yeah, for, I, I, I'm assuming, babe, for most people, it's it's like that. All right. So we're gonna go ahead. It's pretty nice, but we're gonna add a little bit more mustard. A little bit more mayo. Alright. Let's get this mixed in now, and then we're going to go ahead and start adding our ingredients in. Okay, I need a bigger spoon. I don't know who I'm fooling trying to use a freaking teaspoon to mix a freaking potato salad right now. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, so it's nice and sticky, right? We're looking good. Might add a little bit more mayonnaise towards the end. No pickles in this one. Alright, so. Celery. Going in, we're using all our celery. Celery's in. We're going some green onion in there. Okay. Hard boiled egg. Pepper. A lot of salt. Bacon. Grapes, get some olives in there, oh that's when we were there, it was August, yeah it's almost been a full year, that's crazy, alright so, now we got our goodies in there, let's go ahead and mix her up. Tell you that hard boiled egg though, boy, can make a difference. It's a game changer. All right, we're looking pretty chunky monkey here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more um, mayonnaise, right? A little bit. Loosen it up a tad bit. Okay, we're looking good in our potato salad. We need to give it a little taster though. Let's see where. More pepper. A little more green onion. And salt. So, potato salad's mixed. We're gonna let this cool off. Oh yeah. We're looking good. So we're going to let this chill off in the fridge, let the flavors combine together while we get our fillies made right now, guys. We're jumping straight into the fillies. Turning the heat up on the griddle. We're jumping straight into our Philly cheesesteaks, guys. I'm going to put this away, a couple items away, and we're jumping into it, all right? You'll see how good it looks on the plate after the potato salad. It came out real nice. All right. Get these olives away. 
a little bacon. I'll eat you. You ain't going nowhere. Okay, guys. So our beef's been marinating, right? Chicken's here. We got our beef. Let's get our bread cut real quick, huh? So I'm gonna cut the bread, but I don't like I don't like to uh, I don't like to separate it at the bottom. It needs to hold the food in it, right? So it needs to stay like a glove. That's important. It needs to stay like that because. If not, it becomes pretty difficult to eat. So we're going to keep it. I'm going to kind of V out the end. All right. I'm just going to kind of stretch it a little bit. We got our baseball glove, right? And that's how we're treating our, our rolls for this. Same thing. V it out. We go We've got our glove right beautiful rolls okay all right guys let's grab our pork let's get cracking I'm gonna throw the, the veggies with the pork down first because the pork's gonna take a little bit longer to cook um, with the beef the beef can be served mid rare the pork's got to be cooked all the way through right um, veggies need to go down we're gonna start developing all this flavor with our vegetables, but we need to get the proteins like cooked through correctly, then we'll get our cheeses melted on. Okay, so first and foremost, let's get our pork thrown down, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, spray the, spray down a little oil, okay? Take some of our pastor. Sure, I sanitize. So once that pork starts to cook down, we're going to be adding in our we'll be adding in our veggies, right? Veggies are going to cook a little bit faster. Turn it up, nice and hot. All right. Now for our beef, I'm gonna go ahead while you guys are watching the pork, and I'm just gonna remove the liquid out of the marinating bowl. Kind of remove some of the liquid from it. Turn this up hot. I want more color. More color happening. All right. So while that goes, let's go ahead and get the front done with our beef.
Wash the hands real quick. The beef's gonna go quick, so we're gonna add our veg for our beef right now, and probably the pork very soon too. So we're gonna add some onions. Our pepper. Poblano. Okay. Our beef. Check the back. Now we're starting to get some color. That's what we're looking for. Alright. Now that we got that nice and hot in the back, let's go ahead and do the same thing. For onions. Poblano. Bell pepper. This one's going to get our pineapple. We're going to go ahead, spray up our veggies. A little salt. Toss those all around together. Let them cook up. Same thing up here. Time to get our flavors combined here. We're going to get our veg in the center for the chicken. Get that going. Just a sec. Our steak's about ready to be melted and cheese over. No worries, brother. Have a good night, Dark. Thanks for stopping by, my dude. Go ahead and get our cheese melty for our pastor. Beef is ready to be plated up. We're going to go ahead We get our bread down. What we're going to do is grab my big spat. I'm going to scoop it all up on my big spatula. Okay. We're gonna scrape that into our roll.
Okay. Got one. Half doors looking good. Pass doors going down. Pass door down. Throw some veggies for our chicken. Real quick. Okay. We got our pass door here. We're going to top that off with its goodies in a second. Two of the three down. Getting ready for number four. Come on. Chicken down. Our chicken down. What's up, Bark Dog? So for our past door, we need to go ahead and get our tortilla open. We're gonna crumble some tortilla over the top. A little fresh cilantro. We'll be in a sec, Daisy. Hold on, baby. Okay. What's up, Shawnee? Got cheddar for that guy. Okay, get ready to throw this, uh, get our plate over it, get it melting. I have like 95 
utensils up there, sorry. Bumping the uh, camera angle. So I'm melting the cheese down real quick. A little bit more time. A little trick, we'll take a little water, kind of steam it. A little bit of a steam in there. It's just a flat top. Perfect. All right. Last love it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we have our Philly cheesesteaks, guys. We got our pork pastor cheesesteak with our fresh cilantro, pineapple, onion, poblano. Oh, you know what we need to do for the chicken? Garnish with some of our fresh sliced jala red jalapeno. fresh red jalapeno there for you. I'm gonna wash the hands, get that spice off my fingers. That glove technique is awesome. Thank you. So we got our chicken Philly with cheddar, right? Fresh red jalapeno thrown in there. We've got poblano, green bell pepper, onion, cheddar cheese, okay? We've got our beef Philly. It's going to be more clear on social media in the pictures, guys, right? we got our beef Philly. I'm trying to spread it out, right? And then we got our delicious pastor Philly right here, pork pastor. Let's add a little bit more cotilla and cilantro since it's kind of melting in a little bit. Okay. All right, guys, so let's grab our potato salad, put it on a little, little plate for you guys so we can have it all pretty for the picture, let you guys see what it looks like after it's been chilling. We'll go ahead and clean this off for pictures. Then we'll get you guys out of here, right? And we'll get one more daisy cam before we go, guys. She's sitting here anxious as hell, ready to see you guys. Grab a spoon. Let's grab our spatula. We're not done yet though. We still gotta top our potato salad with the finishing touch. All right guys. This is obviously going to be safe during the week if you think Kaylee and I are going to eat this tonight. You're crazy. Alright. <laughs> okay. Now, the little topper for the potato salad. A little bit of smoked paprika. It's not the kicker though. The kicker is a dash of bacon salt. So we're gonna put a little bacon salt on there. Now that's gonna add some crazy flavor. So we'll top it off with a little black pep. 
Voila, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We got our cheese, three different cheesesteaks and our house-made potato salad, right? Hope you guys enjoyed your time tonight. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. We got our Philly cheesesteaks. We got our house-made house -made potato salad. Appreciate you guys being here. All you newcomers, X, thanks for sticking around. Bark Dog, thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Uh, Uncle Stinky, thanks for coming by. Thanks for the bits. Bands, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. Uh, look for social media for pictures. They're going to be uploaded very soon. We're going to go ahead and get out of here, dig in. Hope to see you guys come back. Uh, we're going to be on Tuesday night at 7 p.m., normal schedule. I will be streaming Fortnite uh, throughout the next couple days, too. So if you guys are a fan of that, go ahead and stop by. Um, if not, like I said, hit me up on Twitter, so, um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Subscribe to your boy. The, re the uh, full episode will be uploaded by tonight by midnight. Look for the pictures. We get some really good pictures of all the food on there for you guys. Looks a lot better than what's coming through on the camera. So hope you guys enjoyed your time. Hope you learned a little bit about something on how my, my take on a Philly cheesesteak. Three different ones for you guys. Super simple, super easy. As you saw, it's all about the prep work, right? So go ahead and uh, you know give it a shot, guys. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed your time. Love all you guys. I'll see you back here on Tuesday night. Take it easy, guys. Have a great night.